Welcome to the chip market, where we help you invest smarter in the world of chips. Today, we're digging into what could be a massive turning point for a semiconductor giant, Intel's Panther Lake processor. Why? Because it's the very first chip built on their super-hyped 18A manufacturing process, and we're going to unpack exactly what that means for you as an investor. So the whole analysis really boils down to this one question. Can a single chip, just one piece of silicon, really revive a company the size of Intel? The entire market is watching this one because the answer is going to dictate Intel's valuation for years to come. The stakes really couldn't be higher. And look, the answer all comes down to a technology called 18A. Intel has basically bet the farm on this single process note. That makes Panther Lake way more than just another new product. It's the first real high stakes test of their entire turnaround strategy. Its success or its failure is going to send a huge signal to Wall Street. So here's how we're going to break it all down. First, we'll set the stage with Intel's make or break moment. Then we'll get into the tech behind Panther Lake. After that, we'll look at the AI PC battlefield it's walking into, its path to profitability, and finally, we'll wrap up with your investor roadmap. All right, let's dive into section one, the make or break moment. To really get why Panther Lake is so important, you have to understand the incredible pressure Intel is under to get back on top. You know, for the longest time, Intel was the undisputed king of chip manufacturing. But they stumbled. They've had years of really costly delays with their tech. And that opened the door for competitors like TSMC to just race ahead. And this wasn't just about bragging rights. It hit everything from their product performance to market share and, most importantly for us, their profit margins. And this is where 18A comes into the picture. It's the absolute cornerstone of Intel's hugely ambitious plan to claw back their technology lead. We're talking about a 1.8 nanometer class process. So this isn't some small incremental step. It is a massive leap. The whole goal here is to use 18A to get back to parity, or maybe even leadership, against TSMC by 2025. Honestly, the entire bull case for Intel stock really rests on the success of this one node. Okay, on to section two, the technology. So if 18A is the grand strategy, Panther Lake is the first soldier on the ground. Let's take a look at the chip that has to deliver on all these huge promises. So what is Panther Lake exactly? Well, it's the next-gen mobile processor that you'll see in laptops, and it's going to be branded as Core Ultra Series 3. But its real claim to fame is that it's the very first consumer CPU built on that critical 18A node. It's got a modern, modular design, you know, chiplets, that combines brand new CPU cores, next-gen Z3 graphics, and a beefed-up neural processing unit, or NPU, that's built specifically for AI tasks. They're aiming this at premium laptops, and we should see them in early 2026. So what's the secret sauce inside 18A that makes all this possible? Well, there are two huge innovations here. First is RibbonFET, which is Intel's version of a gate all-around transistor. Think of this as giving the CPU cores more raw horsepower. The second, and this is a really big deal, is PowerVIA. It's an industry-first tech that delivers power from the back of the silicon wafer. It's a super clever trick that frees up the front side for cleaner data signals. It's like building a separate highway for power so the data highway has less traffic. Put them together and you're supposed to get a major leap in performance per watt. Now, if we pop the hood on the chip itself, you'll see new Cougar Cove performance cores and Darkmont efficiency cores. The graphics get a big upgrade to the Z3 celestial architecture. And for AI, there's a fifth gen NPU that's designed to hit around 50 tops. Tops stands for trillions of operations per second. It's the magic number everyone's chasing for AI performance. The whole thing is then stitched together with super fast memory support and Intel's Foveros 3D stacking tech. All right, section three, the AI PC battlefield. Because look, having a powerful chip on a PowerPoint slide means nothing to investors if it can't actually win in the market. So can it compete? So let's line them up. This scorecard gives you a snapshot of the world Panther Lake is jumping into. Against its main rival, AMD, Intel looks like it'll have an edge on tech and efficiency while going toe to toe on AI. Apple, well, Apple is still gonna be the undisputed king of battery life. And then there's the new kid on the block, Qualcomm, who's coming in hot with huge AI numbers, even if its graphics are a bit behind. The big takeaway for us as investors is that on paper, Intel is positioning itself to be a leader again in the Windows PC world.
Now, if we zoom in on just AI performance, you can see this is where the real fight is. Intel's projected 50 tops puts it right there with AMD and well ahead of Apple's current chips. That's absolutely crucial for meeting Microsoft specs for a true AI PC. But you can see it's still trailing Qualcomm's really ambitious target. So Intel is looking very competitive here, but the AI race is going to be a photo finish. So when you put it all together, what's the verdict? If this thing actually performs as promised in the real world, Panther Lake isn't just about Intel playing catch up. It's a platform designed to put them right back into a leadership position in the areas that actually matter for high-end laptops. And that leads us right into section four, the money part. Because for investors, a great chip is only half the battle. The real question is, can Intel build it profitably? Okay, for investors, this table is everything. It all boils down to one critical number, manufacturing yield. That's just the percentage of good chips they get from each silicon wafer. And as you can see, Panther Lake's profitability is incredibly sensitive to this. If yields are low, say 55%, the margin on a chip is a measly 10%. But if they can hit their 75% target, that margin explodes to 34%. Every single point of yield they can find directly impacts the bottom line. It's that simple. And here is the price. This is what's at stake. A successful ramp of 18A, hitting those target yields, could add five to eight full percentage points to Intel's client division gross margins by 2027. At Intel scale, that's not just a little extra cash. We are talking billions of dollars in pure profit every single year. This is the financial leverage the market is focused on. So let's be crystal clear about the takeaway here. If Intel nails the manufacturing, this isn't just about one hot product. Panther Lake could be the spark that starts a multi-year turnaround for their entire PC business, driving real growth in both sales and, most importantly for shareholders, profits. All right, let's bring it all home. Section five, your investor roadmap. We're gonna lay out the key things to watch for, the biggest risks to worry about, and our final thoughts on the whole investment thesis. So what should you be watching over the next 12 to 18 months? Get your calendar out. First, we need to see chips actually ship to PC makers in late 2025. Then comes the big launch at CES in January 2026. Right after that, the independent reviews will drop. That's our first unbiased look, and it could definitely move the stock. And through the first half of 2026, you have to listen to those earnings calls for any and all commentary on those crucial 18A yields. Now on the flip side, what could go wrong? The bear case is pretty straightforward. Number one, and this is the big one, is that they just fail to execute on 18A. Any slip up on yields means delays, sky high costs, and a massive hit to confidence. Second, the chip could just be fine. You know, it could underwhelm in those real world tests. And third, the competition isn't sleeping. Aggressive pricing from AMD or a surprise knockout from Qualcomm could wipe out any advantage Intel thinks it has. And that brings us right back to the ultimate question. The bull case is compelling. The tech looks great, the competitive position looks strong, and the financial upside is huge. But the bear case is just as powerful, with execution risk written all over it. So is Panther Lake the real deal, the start of Intel's comeback? Or is it going to be another false start in what's been a very long turnaround? The next 18 months are going to give us the answer. To stay on top of this story and get more deep dives into the semiconductor space, make sure you like this analysis, share it with someone who needs to see it, and subscribe to The Chip Market. Thanks for watching.